I really can't control myself. Introduction Chapter 1 Start You are listening at NovelFull.audio As the sun sets in the west, the remaining light slowly reflects the surrounding clouds, and the entire sky is dyed red. Linton lay on the grass in front of the house, slowly pondering the three ultimate questions of philosophy. Who am I? Where am I? What am I going to do? It is obvious that Linton is not from this world, but the problem is that he doesn't know who he really is. According to his perception, he should be an earthling or a Chinese, and this is clearly not his world. In this world, there is fighting spirit and magic. In Linton's impression, these are things that are only found in fantasy novels. When he appeared here, he must have traveled through time, but before traveling, Linton actually didn't remember anything at all. However, this is not to say that there is a problem with his cognition, it is just that his memory from childhood to adulthood feels like a blank space for Linton. He cannot remember anything, nor can he remember who he has known, what experiences he has had, or even his family. Even his name is from here. Linton's name here is Linton Melloway. He came to this world and today is exactly the thirtieth day. Linton spent these thirty days getting a rough understanding of his current identity and the world, and now he wants to know who he really is. In my impression, I seem to be extremely familiar with the current situation. When it comes to traveling, it doesn't feel so abrupt, and even a bit familiar. If most people encounter situations like Linton, they probably don't mind. Whatever comes, they will settle down. Anyway, if they have come here and forgotten about the past, then it's okay. Let's just live a good life here and so on. However, Linton couldn't have such a big heart. He always felt like he had something to do, but what exactly it was was, which was also one of the questions he pondered. After organizing his current situation, Linton felt that he still needed to make a plan. If there was no hope at all, Linton would give up, but unfortunately, he was given some hope, which was a system he carried with him. Speaking of the system that comes with time travel, Linton is also very familiar with it in his impression. It seems that people who travel have a feeling of their own system, and there is no sense of abruptness. The system carried by Linton, summarized in Linton's own words, is an online gaming system. Although Linton cannot recall any memories of playing online games, he feels very familiar with this thing. With a wave of his hand, a transparent screen appeared in front of Linton, which recorded a lot of Linton's information, and even his own numerical values could be accurately reflected. Name Linton Marrow Occupation None Deputy Position None Level 15 experience. 0 slash 14400HP 660 slash 660 magic value. 300 slash 300 attribute. Strength. 25 agility. 33 physical fitness. 33 wisdom. 20 spirit. 15 charm. A lucky. E skills. One handed weapon mastery. Level D. Increases the damage caused by one-handed weapons by 10%. Two-handed weapon mastery, level C. Increases the damage caused by two-handed weapons by 20%. Armor specialization, level D. The defense performance of equipment is increased by 10%. How to describe this situation? It feels like a template for an ordinary passerby, without any outstanding features. In fact, Linton has also tried in the past few days. Currently, his level is probably at the level of a super soldier, which is slightly stronger than the miscellaneous soldiers guarding their house. He can win the level of miscellaneous soldiers in about 10 rounds. However, after discovering the system, Linton is still very bloated. Although he is weak now, he should be able to upgrade like in online game novels. When he reaches a few hundred levels, he will still be invincible in the world. So Linton immediately began his journey of leveling up. However, just at the beginning, his dream was shattered. He also went to the outskirts of the city and practiced with a few beginner monsters. 
The process went smoothly, and he immediately killed the monsters. However, the problem was. His experience points did not increase. Linton tried several times without believing in evil, but was disappointed to find that his experience points really wouldn't increase. What kind of thing is this? Linton is not very clear, and no one has explained it to him. So Linton also spent a few days studying it carefully. For example, he felt like he had read an online game novel, and the protagonist in it didn't seem to level up even after fighting monsters. He would only level up after he died. Linton felt like he was the same template or something, but he didn't dare to die either. In short, except for death, Linton has tried all the methods he could think of, but was not successful. So far, Linton's experience points have been stuck above zero. To be honest, he doesn't know what to do anymore, so he's lying on the grass thinking about life now. Do we really need to use extraordinary means to try? Linton thought to himself, it's not possible to continue like this. If he can't upgrade himself, he's been stuck at this level all along. Others can still upgrade through cultivation and other means, and he looks like an online gaming system. Is there any other way to improve besides upgrading? Just as he was thinking about it, suddenly a voice came to Linton's mind. It was a voice he had never heard before, a mechanical sound with little emotion. System prompt. No operation for 30 consecutive cycles, exploration automatically starts. System prompt. Automatically searching for suitable coordinates. What's the situation? Linton sat up directly from the ground, completely unaware of what was going on, and saw a bunch of strange prompt messages in front of him. System prompt. Search for suitable coordinates, transfer enabled. What? Teleportation. Before Linton could say anything, a white light flashed on his body, and he felt his vision suddenly disappear for a few seconds. When he recovered again, Linton appeared in a strange place. This looks like a small alley, with buildings on both sides and a cement wall on one side. Upon seeing this familiar scene, Linton was also momentarily taken aback. This place was clearly Earth, and although he had no memories of life, he felt incredibly familiar. Are you really back? Linton was a bit excited. He didn't know what was going on, but he didn't expect to be back. Now he finally had a chance to figure out who he really was. Before Linton could be happy for a while, suddenly something hit him directly. Linton was hit and took two steps back. When he looked up, he realized that the person who had hit him was a young black man. It was estimated that the other person had also bumped into him when they rushed into the alley. Linton stopped, but the other person fell to the ground with his bag in his hand. FXXX. Are you looking for death? Before Linton could say anything, the black man on the ground began to curse. Linton didn't like it when he heard it. It's clearly not his problem, okay? He stood still and didn't move. He hadn't even accounted for this person yet, but his mouth wasn't clean for now. Just as he was about to come forward to theory, suddenly a voice rang out in his ear again. Detect hostile targets and activate automatic combat mode. What? Linton was taken aback for a moment, before he could react. Suddenly, his hand seemed uncontrollable, and he punched the black guy who was just about to get up, directly hitting his throat. The black guy snorted and froze. Linton grabbed the other guy's shoulders, pressed his hands down, and lifted his right leg, hitting his chin with a knee strike. The black guy flipped around in the air before landing on the ground, his eyes turning white and he passed out. The battle is over, the strange voice said again. What kind of ghost? Linton only realized what he had just done. In that moment, his body seemed to move on its own, which was a bit too strange and completely incomprehensible. But at this moment, something on the ground caught Linton's attention. The black thing Linton picked up and saw that it was actually a handgun. This is obviously something belonging to this black guy, Linton remembered. When the other person stood up before, it seemed like they were also touching something. 
So now it seems that the other person is preparing to pull out a gun. Don't move, put down the gun. Just as Linton was lost in thought, a voice suddenly came from the alley. Linton looked up and found that the person who appeared this time was a white man wearing a police uniform, so it was obvious that he was a police officer. For a moment, Linton looked at the black guy on the ground and probably understood that the person the police were chasing was not himself, but the one on the ground. However, now that he was holding a gun, the police probably misunderstood. Misunderstanding, misunderstanding. Linton said as he immediately lost his gun and quickly raised his hand. You're looking for this person on the ground, I'm just passing by. Presumably seeing Linton lose his gun, the police officer on this side breathed a sigh of relief as they raised their gun and approached, saying, kneeling on the ground with your head in your arms. No, I'm really just passing by. Linton certainly didn't want to kneel. Yu Yu reading www.yuukangshu.net, he probably noticed now that this might be on the magnesium side, after all, there are black guys and white police. When the police in magnesium country arrest people, it is indeed this process, but Linton said it is a bit unacceptable. Before Linton could finish speaking clearly, the voice suddenly rang out in his ear again. Detect hostile targets and activate automatic combat mode. In an instant, Linton seemed to lose the initiative of his body again. He leaned down and, before the other person could react, pulled up a black guy on the ground to block him. The police also reacted at this moment, but he didn't dare to shoot either. The other party had hostages blocking in front of him. In a moment of hesitation, Linton pushed the black man forward and reached out his hand to grab the other person's gun, then turned the muzzle towards the sky. At the same time, he hit the police officer's temple with a powerful elbow strike from his left hand. Just look at the police officers here who didn't even snort, their bodies softened and collapsed. Don't, don't. Linton shouted at this moment, but it was already too late. The battle is over. In an instant, Linton regained control of his body and looked at the police gun in his hand with a bewildered expression. He then looked at the two people lying on the ground. Linton leaned his forehead and said, What have I done? What kind of ghosts are these? Now Linton doesn't know what to do. He hasn't figured out his situation yet. He has become a assaulter. Can this still be explained clearly? Hey, Asian kid, what was that just now, Kung Fu? Just as Linton was feeling confused, a figure suddenly landed on the nearby cement wall, crouched down, and said to Linton. Linton also looked up at the sound and was completely stunned. Spider. Spider-Man. Chapter 2. Clash. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Linton is completely confused now. He hasn't figured out what kind of situation he is, and what happened when a Spider-Man suddenly appeared. The guy in front of me is definitely Spider-Man wearing a red and blue spider costume, and looking at the other person's previous actions, it's probably him. But. In Linton's perception, Spider-Man is a character from movies or comics, how did he become a living person? What's going on? You're probably scared of me, right? I'm Spider-Man, a good neighbor of New York City citizens. Spider-Man looked at Linton, who didn't react, and started his evasion mode. Although I admire your Kung Fu, the master who taught you Kung Fu might get angry if you use it to commit a crime. Um. What? Can I say that all of this is a misunderstanding? Although there may not be much hope, Linton still spoke up. I don't think attacking a police officer on the street would be a misunderstanding. I think why don't you explain it to the judge? Spider-Man watched as Linton knocked down the police officer and didn't have time to stop him, but capturing Linton was certain. As he spoke, Spider-Man also jumped off the wall and stood in front of Linton, if possible, I don't want to use violence. Can you put down your weapon? Linton was still holding the gun he had just taken away. Looking at the current situation, Linton said that he really couldn't even wash himself by jumping into the Yellow River. This police officer did indeed do it himself, and there seems to be nothing to explain. 
He can't tell the judge that he can't control himself or anything. The question is, what should we do now? The Spider-Man in front of us must not be able to do it himself, can we run? Linton unconsciously looked towards his rear. Seeing Linton's movements, Spider-Man probably knew what he wanted, so he took the initiative and spread his wrist, shooting at Linton with a pile of spider silk. However, the target was Linton's gun holding hand, so he disarmed him first. However, at this moment, a familiar voice also came to Linton's mind. Detect hostile targets and activate automatic combat mode. At that moment, Linton suddenly started moving, crouched down and dodged Spider-Man's spider silk, without even turning his head back. What? Don't, don't, don't use any automatic combat, this really can't be defeated. After two consecutive attempts, Linton almost understood the situation of this thing, but the two of them were okay before. The enemy in front of him is Spider-Man, so why can't we defeat him? However, Linton's body didn't listen to him at all. His feet kicked on the ground, and he was like a knife in front of Spider-Man, hitting the crucial part of his throat. But with a click, Spider-Man stood still and nothing happened. Linton felt his hands about to break, and a sharp pain pierced his forehead. Drafted the master's plan, I've said I can't beat it, can't even break through the defense. Linton cursed directly, regardless of whether anyone could hear him. Of course, Spider-Man doesn't care about Linton's situation. If he resists capture again and attacks him, he naturally won't be polite to Linton. Faced with this ferocious criminal, Spider-Man also raised his hand and punched Linton directly in the chest. With a loud bang, Linton flew out and crashed into the cement wall behind him, then slid down to the ground. This punch made Linton feel like his lungs were about to burst out, opening his mouth and spitting out a mouthful of blood. I don't want to hurt you anymore, could you please surrender? Spider-Man looked at Linton's situation and immediately said. I also want to surrender, Tien. Linton really had nothing to say, and the sharp pain in his chest made him almost speechless. This is too painful, I can't keep playing anymore. Blocking pain sensation links. At this moment, the mechanical sound suddenly echoed around him, and as he finished speaking, Linton suddenly felt a lightness all over his body. The sharp pain in his chest and hands suddenly disappeared. Although he was still vomiting blood, he did not feel any pain at all. This. Linton was taken aback again. There were too many inexplicable things, and before he could figure them out, his body suddenly stood up on its own, then turned 90 degrees and ran quickly towards the other end of the alley. Linton's running posture is very standard, just like what is printed in scientific videos. Of course, from another perspective, it doesn't feel like a human running. You finally know how to run, Linton couldn't help but say as he saw the movements of his body. No, it's not a retreat, it's just a distance. Suddenly, the voice answered Linton. Sigh. Can we talk? Hey, can you understand what I'm saying? Why didn't I answer when I called you just now? Linton quickly said, although it was strange to talk to himself while running. What you said has nothing to do with combat. No, what's wrong with you? Why can you control my body? Linton quickly asked. Now there was no response, Linton recalled what the other party had said before. It seemed that what he said had nothing to do with the battle, so this guy ignored it again. Is it related to combat? Linton thought for a moment and said, it's useless for you to run like this. Spider-Man is very agile, and he can catch up with you by gliding a spider silk. As expected, as Linton said, Spider-Man was stunned when he saw Linton suddenly turn his head and start running. However, after regaining his senses, he wasn't very anxious either. He stood in place for a while, then reached out and pulled out a piece of spider silk, chasing Linton's direction before swinging over. This was definitely not going to cause Linton to run away. Perhaps upon seeing this situation, Linton's body suddenly turned around and ran into a nearby building, which was probably not yet built. Although there was a shell outside, the inside was still empty. 
And Linton went straight up to the second floor, stopped right after entering the door, raised his gun against the door, as if waiting for Spider-Man to come in and ambush him. You're still useless in doing this, Linton said again. Please provide more combat information, the host. This time, the voice answered. Although Linton has a lot of questions to ask now, considering the urgent situation, he has temporarily suppressed his doubts. Although I don't know what this thing really is, after all, its current battle with Spider-Man is also another opportunity for him to get out of trouble, and he doesn't want to go to jail. Although Spider-Man is not bulletproof, he has a skill called Spider-Sensing, which is similar to a direct sense skill. It can detect danger and react in advance, so ambushing him is of no use. Linton said. Understood, the battle plan has changed. After speaking, Linton's body moved again and continued running upstairs. It's no use running down here, Linton said. May I ask if the host knows the weaknesses of hostile targets? Asked the mechanical voice. Weakness. Linton was taken aback for a moment. This really knocked him down. What are Spider-Man's weaknesses? I really don't know. He has strong strength and high agility, and when I think about it, he's really a bit invincible. The only thing that can be called a weakness is this guy, does being too kind count? Linton asked, this guy is a Madonna who goes to save people when they see danger, the kind who goes to save without risking his life. Understood, the battle plan is being formulated and completed. Is that all? What plan? Linton was taken aback. However, no one answered him this time. This time, Linton's body had already reached the top floor of the building, which was about nine floors, about thirty meters high. As it was not completed, the top floor naturally had no walls, and Linton's body ran directly to the edge of the top floor. At this moment, Spider-Man also appeared on the top floor. He chased Linton all the way into the building, and soon the spider silk came up all the way, indeed much faster than Linton. You're really running fast, but you're still throwing. Spider-Man didn't finish his sentence when he suddenly saw Linton jumping out in front of him. Spider-Man was completely stunned, but the next second he quickly jumped out in the direction where Linton fell. Of course, he wanted to save Linton. Although Linton was a criminal, he just wanted to arrest Linton and didn't expect him to die. Seeing Linton, forced to jump off the building, he didn't think much and jumped down to save Linton. However, just as he jumped out, his spider sense suddenly activated, and Yu Yu reading www.uukangshu.net felt danger. Spider-Man turned his head and saw Linton. It turned out that there was a small platform on the outside of the building. After Linton jumped out, he stood on this platform. It turned out that it was not a jump, but a strategy, right? Of course, Spider-Man didn't panic either. He turned around and wanted to swing back with Spider-Silk, but at that moment, Linton suddenly pounced on Spider-Man in the air. It's obvious that Spider-Man didn't expect Linton to jump out at this moment. It's over 30 meters above the ground, but he's not afraid, isn't Linton? In this moment of delay, Linton hugged Spider-Man's body directly, while the object in his hand pressed directly against Spider-Man's armpit. With a loud bang, the gun rang and the bullet pierced through Spider-Man's armpit, flying out of his shoulder. The immense pain made the superhero scream in agony. Of course, both of them began to fall towards the ground at this height, not to mention Linton, even Spider-Man was in danger. However, Linton's body didn't care about the problem of falling, so he raised his gun again and aimed directly at Spider-Man's head. However, just as he was about to shoot, Spider-Man flew up and swept away the gun in Linton's hand. Nevertheless, Linton did not hesitate at all. He grabbed Spider-Man's neck and wrapped his body around him, tightly gripping his left hand. Yes, at this moment, Spider-Man's right hand was injured and temporarily unable to move. The launcher on his left hand was the only thing that could solve the current crisis, but Linton's body consciously got stuck in it, preventing Spider-Man from launching. The victory or defeat came in an instant, with a loud thud. 
the two of them had already fallen to the ground, and the next second, Linton noticed a flash of white light around him, sitting on a piece of grass. The sunset still shone ahead, while Linton was covered in a cold sweat. Chapter 3 Rogue You are listening at NovelFull.audio What's going on? What's going on? Linton was really confused and quickly looked at his hands. There was no redness or swelling just now, and the position where he lay seemed to be the same as where he slept before. Is it? Dreaming. The idea had just emerged when the mechanical sound reappeared. System prompt. The exploration has ended, and the exploration progress is being calculated. The exploration progress is 1.4%, and you will receive 14,000 points. System prompt. Obtain 12750 combat points. System prompt. You have received a random reward, spider blood level D. Dreaming of AP, Linton leaned his forehead, realizing that it was not a dream. He could still clearly feel the fear of falling to the ground at that moment. Now it seems that I may have really been teleported to a strange place, like some kind of movie world, but how did this happen? I have no idea what happened. At the first moment, Linton immediately opened his character page and took a look. This mutation was definitely related to his system. Sure enough, he found that his character interface had undergone tremendous changes. Firstly, there was an additional skill called Spider Bloodline in his skills, and his character attributes suddenly increased significantly. Strength has increased to 71, agility has increased to 89, and physique has increased to 70. These three attributes have suddenly increased by more than double. Just looking at the numerical values, this is really a bit impressive. If I'm not mistaken, this should be the effect brought by this spider bloodline skill. That integral. Linton immediately thought of another thing he had gained, the integral. What is this? Quickly looking at his own page, Linton suddenly noticed that there seemed to be an additional item next to his character page. With just one click, a new page bar popped up. Integral. 26750, sure enough, the first thing that pops up on the new page is the information about points, and below it, there is a new section with a bunch of names on the left and a series of numbers on the right. There is also a purchase option below. After thinking for a moment, if I'm not mistaken, this thing should be a store. That is to say, points are a kind of currency, although I don't know what's going on, Linton also looked at the situation in the store. At present, he doesn't seem to have many things to buy, first of all, his bloodline. Previously, he obtained spider bloodline, which can also be purchased here, but what he purchased seems to be an upgrade. I got a D.grade myself, but I can buy C.grade, B.grade, and A.grade here, which is easy to understand. There are also some skills, such as spider sensing and wall climbing, followed by items such as pistols and spider silk launchers. These should be the items and skills of the person I defeated. After reading it, Linton probably understood. After arriving there, he defeated three people, including Spider-Man, a police officer, and a black thief. All these items and skills come from those few people, which means that the skills or items of the person he defeated will appear in this point store. After thinking about it, Linton directly purchased a C.level spider bloodline without any special effects. After the purchase was successful, Linton's points were deducted by 10,000 points. Looking at the values of the characters next to him, his strength increased to 144, his agility increased to 191, and his physique increased to 119. If you only look at the numbers, your strength, agility, and physique have become four or five times stronger than before. However, Linton doesn't have any real feeling and doesn't feel like he has become stronger. But it may take a try to know if you have become stronger. Just as he got up to try his hand, a person next to him suddenly ran towards Linton's side. It seemed that the other person had also run for a while, feeling a bit out of breath, but still anxiously said to Linton, Young master, Uncle Eck has been beaten. What? Linton immediately stood up. 
Of course, he knew the person who came running. This young man in his twenties was called Radiner, a city guard soldier who was currently working at Linton's house for some reason. He could be considered Linton's friend of the same age. The miscellaneous soldier who could defeat more than a dozen moves mentioned earlier was this one. And the person he mentioned being beaten was Linton's servant. What's going on? Who hit him? Linton asked immediately. It's Captain Chiora, said Radno. Upon hearing this name, Linton felt a little headache, but immediately said, let's go. After finishing speaking, Linton also ran straight towards his own direction. Radno originally wanted to follow Linton back, but he didn't expect Linton's speed to be so fast. After following a few steps, Radno couldn't catch up. Linton disappeared from his sight with a surprised expression on his face and said, when did the young master run so fast? Linton didn't pay attention either. In just a few minutes, he had already arrived near his home. At this moment, there were many people gathered at the entrance of Linton's house, it seemed that they were all watching the excitement. Seeing Linton appear, the people behind him consciously gave way and soon Linton saw the situation inside. Sure enough, it was Captain Chaola of the city guard, who blocked the entrance of Linton's house with three guards. Actually, on the way back, Linton could probably guess what was going on. In simple terms, Captain Xiaola is a soldier. Apart from defending his country, he is skilled in everything, and gambling and drinking flower wine are his ultimate hobbies. Of course, doing all of these things requires money. This Kiola not only indulges in extravagance and drinking on his own, but also leads his brothers to indulge in extravagance and drinking. His own salary naturally cannot support these things, so the available methods are either credit or borrowing money. Of course, everyone understands his so dot called borrowing money, at least Linton has never heard of him repaying it. And the one who borrows the most is the Linton family, who says Linton is easy to bully. And this time, if nothing unexpected happens, it should also be related to borrowing money. Oh, our noble young master has returned. Of course, at this moment, Chiora also saw Linton returning, but there was no panic. Instead, she pointed to Ek lying on the ground next to him, you don't understand the rules very well, I'll teach you a lesson. Do you mean I still want to thank you? Linton said calmly as he looked at the other person. Linton's attitude surprised Kiola a bit. When he first arrived here, Linton was quite arrogant, but after being beaten up by him, he saw that he was walking around. Today, he didn't expect to dare to stand up to him, so he naturally couldn't back down. Yo yo yo, the noble young master still has a bad temper. What's wrong? He has awakened his fighting spirit. Chiawa poked Linton's pain point as soon as he came up, and indeed Linton fell into this field, mainly because he had not yet awakened his fighting spirit at the age of nineteen. Of course, this Linton is not that Linton. Linton, who used to be somewhat afraid of Kiola, has long been gone. Currently, Linton is not very familiar with Chiora. He borrowed money several times before, but it was Ek who gave him the money to leave. Linton didn't even know who he was before and didn't plan on doing anything else, but now it seems that this vampire still needs to be dealt with in advance, after all, he took their family's money. Young master, I'm sorry, he just opened his mouth and asked for ten silver coins. Our family is now. At this moment, Ike on the ground also explained to Linton. Seeing him covering his stomach all the time, he probably got punched a few times. Ten silver coins, not much, right? Chiaola across from him laughed. Isn't the young master's family a nobleman? He can't give back this money, isn't he afraid of being laughed at? Driven by Kiola, the surrounding civilians also laughed. Although these people usually speak ill of Linton, most of them are just behind the scenes ridicule. Today's courage is not due to Kiola's leadership. Do you know the maxim of our Marrow family? Linton suddenly walked to the front of Chiao Lami and Noodles, looked at the other side and said in a daze. Linton's attitude gradually reduced the laughter around him, and to be honest, the people were a bit strange. 
Linton had a fight with Kiola before, and everyone knew the result. Afterwards, when Linton saw Kiola, he ran away, which became a laughing stock for everyone. So why is Linton so tough today? What motto? Be kind and generous. Kiola laughed again after speaking. UU reading www.uukyungshu.net, the motto of the Merlevi family is borrow, repay, said Linton calmly. Ha! Huh. Eck on the ground was taken aback. The motto of the Mero family is not that borrowing is always okay. Where did you come up with this? If I remember correctly, you owe our family at least two gold coins, Linton continued. If you want to borrow it again, you can pay off the previous account first. Are you looking for death? Kiola got angry and threw the sword in her hand directly to the nearby guard. She clenched her fist and walked towards Linton. It's obvious that he wouldn't dare to kill Linton, but beating him doesn't matter at all. Are all the people who owe money really uncles? Linton didn't mean to draw his sword and walked up. Just as both sides were getting closer, Kiola couldn't wait to punch Linton. In the eyes of the people next to him, Kiola's punch was strong and heavy, and he could almost imagine Linton being punched and lying on the ground. However, in Linton's eyes, Kiola's speed was very slow, and he probably understood that he had become faster. Lowering his head, Linton easily dodged the opponent's attack. Before Kiola could recover, Linton raised his hand and punched the opponent directly in the face. Kiola's entire nose was hit into her face, and one eye popped out. After flipping around in the air, she hit the ground and bounced back like a piece of rag, piercing into the wooden shed in front of her. With a loud bang, the entire shed fell down. The surroundings suddenly quieted down, and everyone looked at Linton in front of them with a shocked expression. Their heads were almost short-circuited. What happened here? The strongest person in the town, Captain Chaola of the city guard, was given a second by Linton. Chapter 4 Assassination You are listening at NovelFull.audio I didn't read it wrong, did Kiola get killed in a flash? Has he awakened his fighting spirit? After a long time, the people around began to discuss, but their attitude was clearly different from just now. The people who had previously mocked Linton naturally dared not mock him anymore. Moreover, the people around them now dared not face Linton's eyes. When they saw Linton turn his head, they quickly turned their heads. Is there anything else? Are you still going to take me to prison? Linton didn't want to worry about these foodies, but turned to the three city guards next to him all of whom were under Kiola's command and the same friends who had previously talked about Linton's money. The three of them were clearly frightened and stood still without daring to speak. Chiaola has been timed, what else can they do? Get out of here with this cargo, and remember my words, I'll give you ten days to gather enough money to pay it back, Linton said. The three of them hurriedly rushed to the place where Chiola had fallen, and upon seeing that Chiola had been beaten, his face was completely distorted. It was estimated that his mother could not recognize him. Without daring to stay, the three of them picked up Kiola and left. As soon as the people around saw this situation, they slowly dispersed. Although they didn't say anything, everyone understood that the strongest person in this town had already been replaced. Of course, in reality, Linton also had a lot of questions in his heart. The authenticity of this system has been confirmed, and it can indeed increase one's own strength, but the question is. What exactly is going on with this system? Where did it come from? What was the situation with the short time travel before? Xiao. Young master. At this moment, Uncle Ek also stood up from the ground. Although his stomach was probably still hurting, he didn't care about these anymore and immediately asked, have you awakened your fighting spirit? Do you think it's similar? Linton asked. This. Even the old servant doesn't know, said Eck. I know you want to go back, but even if you awaken your fighting spirit at the age of nineteen, do you think the host family will value me? Linton asked. This. Eck was originally quite pleased, 
but upon hearing Linton's words, he was also splashed with a bucket of cold water because there was indeed no problem. Do you know the motto of our Mare Levy family? Linton suddenly said. Ah. Eck was stunned for a moment. To be honest, he has been serving the Mare Levy family for decades, and it seems that he has never heard of any family sayings or similar things about the Mare Levy family. Just now, the phrase, pay back when you have debts, was definitely nonsense from Linton. Now Linton asked again, how can he answer this? After some thought, Eck decided to follow Linton's train of thought and said, if you have a debt, you must pay it back. Nonsense, where did our family come from such a proverb? Linton said. Um. Eck looked at Linton with a bewildered expression, his eyes probably saying, you know that too. Our Mayor Levy family's motto is to strive for self-improvement, which means not to care too much about others' opinions, to strengthen oneself. Linton said devoutly. Dot. Eck was speechless. What a ghost. There's no such family motto, okay? Can you change it? Are you really okay? Do you need to find a doctor? A pharmacist to see? Linton asked as he looked at Eck, who was still protecting his stomach. It's okay, getting used to being beaten, this little injury, said Eck. Young master. What's going on? At this moment, Radno, who had gone to call Linton before, arrived at home. Seeing the situation at the scene, he certainly couldn't understand what had happened. He had seen Captain Xiaola come in a fierce manner before, but now he has left. Did he give money? But their family should have run out of money. They can't raise ten silver coins, right? Looking at the scene again, why did the wooden shed at the entrance collapse? Did you do it? What's going on? Go buy some meat, have a good meal today, Linton said after looking at Radno and taking out some money from the package. Sigh. This money. Leydener was really a bit confused. Shouldn't all the money be given to Keola? Where did the money for selling meat come from? Go ahead, said Ek here with a smile. Although I don't know what's going on, Radno went to buy it. And on the way to buy things, the news of Linton defeating Chiora also spread. The town was originally not big, and although oral transmission may not be very efficient, it is still sufficient here. Knowing this, Radno was really shocked. In his opinion, it was really impossible. Keola was the captain of their city guard, and he knew the opponent's abilities the most. Although Linton was stronger than him, there was still a gap compared to the captain. How could this suddenly turn around? Hurrying home, Radno immediately asked about this matter. Linton smiled slightly and said, Do you know our family's motto? Eck, who was cooking next to him, let out a click in his heart. It's time to start cooking again. Sure enough, Linton quickly said, A gentleman hides his tools in his body and uses them when needed. This means that I am awesome and true, but I don't need to tell you. You can experience it yourself, understand. I don't understand, but when I hear it, I think it's impressive, Radno said with a stern expression. Okay, let's eat. Eck didn't know what was going on. Linton hadn't said a few words for a month, but today he suddenly felt like someone else had changed. Not only did his strength become incomprehensible to him, but he also began to make up nonsense for no reason. You see, Radno was stunned. If it weren't for him being a member of the Mero family, I would have thought the Mero family had so many proverbs that they exploded. Eck didn't ask much, and the three of them started eating. During the meal, Linton also asked a little question before realizing that his family's financial situation was really worrying. Not to mention ten silver coins, it is estimated that even five silver coins will be difficult to come up with. Currently, the only source of income for the family is the leather-making workshop behind their house, which has caused them to not even have enough money to buy raw materials. Thinking of this, Linton really wants to kill Keola. Although there is not much hope, he still hopes that he can return some money, otherwise why keep him? By the way, young master, I almost forgot. 
Halfway through the meal, X suddenly said, Mayor Tilvin has returned and seems to have brought a letter from his master. He asked someone to inform you to come when you have time. Linton didn't know much about the Marrow family, at least he had never seen a single member of the Marrow family, and most of the news came from X's side. Of course, he doesn't have any memory of his own body, and to be honest, he doesn't really want to get involved with the Marrow family, but it's too exaggerated not to go and get the letter. I see, it's late tonight. Let's go tomorrow, Linton nodded and replied. After dinner, Radno's work was finally over and he went straight home, leaving only Linton and Eck at home. There are not many activities here at night, and there is not much spare money to buy lamps and candles for lighting. It is pitch black, so go to bed and wake up early. Linton lives alone in a relatively clean room on the second floor, while Eck has a large bunk on the first floor. The two of them went to bed early. Although many things happen today, Linton belongs to the category of people who fall asleep immediately after getting wet on the pillow. He falls down and goes straight to bed. However, in the middle of the night, a black shadow opened the window on the second floor and entered Linton's room. Merlo Way's fourth son, you're a bit strange, the dark figure whispered, but did not wake Linton on the bed. After speaking, the other party drew out their weapon, and the long sword emitted a cold light under the moonlight. Without a doubt, this person came to assassinate Linton. Looking at Linton sleeping soundly in bed, the other person raised their sword and swung it down. Detect hostile targets, confirm that the host is in a state of losing consciousness, and activate automatic combat mode. At that moment, Linton on the bed suddenly exerted force and took a step to the left, avoiding the opponent's blow. The sudden action also stunned the assassin. Before he could fully recover, Linton suddenly sat up straight from the bed, patted the bedboard, and rushed towards the other person. Ha! Hmm! At this moment, Linton had just woken up and saw the scene of himself rushing towards the other person. He really had a bewildered expression on his face. What was the situation? Still figuring out what was going on, Linton had already grabbed the opponent's sword holding hand and then swung it out in a very standard posture. This is clearly an attempt to disarm. Due to the astonishing power of Linton, the assassins across from him all showed surprised expressions. No, what's the situation? At the same time, Linton couldn't help but ask, Assassin. Can you roughly see the other person's attire? What else can this outfit look like? An assassin has entered the house. Who sent it? Linton's first thought was Chiora, but the next second, he ruled out this option. Just as the other party let out a soft chuckle, a flash of light suddenly shone on his body, and Linton's hand was inexplicably bounced out. Before the end, the other party followed and heard a loud noise. Linton was kicked out of the wall and fell directly from his second floor. Bedroom. Dookie. Although Linton had never seen Dookie users before, he had been listening to Eck and his team talk about it. Judging from this situation, the other party must be using Dookie. Since the other party is a master of fighting spirit, he is definitely not someone like Kiola who can afford it. He is just the captain of the city guard in a border town. What qualifications does he have to hire a master of fighting spirit to assassinate him? so who sent him? With a loud bang, just thinking about it, Linton's body had already flipped in the air, in a very standard landing position, unloading all the momentum. Linton also remembered that he had entered an automatic combat state where he could not control his body. But it's strange that when I just fought with Kiola, he didn't activate this state and thought it couldn't be activated here, so why did it start again? Please provide more combat information to the host, the voice suddenly said. Linton thought for a moment, probably the other party didn't know what fighting spirit was. He just shouted, and it might think he knew. But he really doesn't know anything, but there's one thing he understands now and just shouts, run. Chapter 5 Chasing You are listening at NovelFull.audio Sorry host, there is no option to escape, replied the mechanical voice directly. Are you so tough? But you're just so tough, can we not show off? 
Linton just realized that this system doesn't allow it to run, but the other party is a big shot, can we play with it? As soon as he finished speaking, a dark figure appeared directly from the gap on the second floor and rushed towards Linton. The cold blade under the moonlight was very clear, and the enemy did not give Linton a chance to breathe. This means I have to die. Linton also realized that the other party was not afraid of exposure and wouldn't leave without a single blow, insisting on his own life. Indeed, there are not many experts in this town. As I mentioned before, the strongest one is Kiola. I was stunned by him, and this aggressive leader is completely reckless here. Linton's body began to move on its own again, flashing towards the side, but it did not evade the opponent's attack. Blood splattered and Linton's arm pulled out a wound. Misjudgment of evasion distance. Because of his fighting spirit, Linton immediately understood what was going on. The opponent's blade is longer than it actually looks. Please provide more combat information to the host. I really don't know Tien, Linton quickly shouted. Just finished speaking, the assassin suddenly kicked off the ground again, accelerating rapidly. Linton also reacted at the same time and immediately dodged, but the next second, his left hand suddenly flew out, and the knife still didn't dodge, and his left hand was chopped off. Linton's body froze for a moment, and then his right hand quickly covered the wound. The grip was very strong, and his fingers were directly stuck inside the wound, as if using some way to stop the bleeding. However, Linton didn't feel any pain, probably because he had previously turned off his pain perception. The enemy's explosive power judgment was incorrect, continued the mechanical voice. Does the burst of fighting spirit instantly increase explosive power? Linton immediately guessed. Please provide more combat information to the host. I guess it myself, okay. Don't you have the ability to think for yourself? Linton looked at his left hand, which he couldn't even see, and couldn't help but say. Suddenly, Linton's body turned 180 degrees and started running straight back. Run away. Linton asked. No, distance yourself from the battle. Big brother, please don't hit me, okay? Linton helped his forehead, I only have one hand left. Can you leave a memory for me? Perhaps he saw Linton suddenly turn his head and run away, and the assassin was also momentarily stunned. However, the next second, he also reacted, accelerating his pursuit while throwing a shiny object out of his hand. Linton didn't notice at all, but his body still started moving automatically, jumping up and down in place. However, it was still useless. The next second, Linton's foot was suddenly scratched by something, and the wound was very deep, almost piercing to the bone. Evasion time judgment error. Can you give me some help? Linton stumbled in the air and then fell to the ground in a somewhat disheveled state. Originally, it seemed like the assassin was rolling and wanted to continue running forward, but by this time the assassin had already caught up. Linton's body had come to a stop, perhaps judging that he couldn't run away. The fourth son of the Mellowai family. The assassin may have felt stable at this moment, but he began to speak. You're quite curious. I've been observing you for a few days, but your strength suddenly changed, just today. Um. Big brother, do we have any grudges? Linton said to the assassin ahead. Of course there is no hatred. Those who work in our industry don't care about hatred, said the assassin. So I'm hopeless today. Linton asked. Do you have any last words? Hmm. Linton thought for a moment, do you know what the motto of our Mare Levy family is? I really don't know, said the assassin. Our Mare Levy family's motto is, Draft the Lord. Linton raised his middle finger directly. Although I didn't know what the middle finger meant, the assassin didn't mind either. After waiting for Linton to finish speaking, he raised his sword again and slashed at Linton. Excessive blood loss and low limb performance, it is recommended that the host use points to recover the body. Just as Linton felt like he was about to finish, suddenly a mechanical sound from here prompted him. Do points still have this function? 
Why didn't you mention it earlier? Linton looked puzzled. Dot. The mechanical sound didn't answer, but Linton quickly operated. Anyway, quickly recover. Maybe the recovery can still avoid this blow. Use it. System prompt. Use points to repair the body. According to the degree of damage this time, consume 21,100 points. System prompt. Repair successful, your current score is 0 .4350 points. System prompt. Due to insufficient points, exploration mode is forced to be activated. With a swoop and a flash of white light, Linton suddenly disappeared into place. When his vision returned, Linton found himself appearing on a patch of grass. And before Linton could react, he looked at the ground in a daze. System prompt. Due to your current negative points, this is a mandatory exploration. If you have not earned enough points after this exploration, you will be disqualified from exploration. Is that so? Linton roughly understood. Repairing his body consumed a lot of points, resulting in a negative deduction of points. After negative integration, it will directly initiate a forced probe to add points, so I was teleported out at that time. Looking at his left hand, Linton instantly breathed a sigh of relief. My body has indeed been repaired, and the left hand that was previously cut off has now grown back. Of course, all other injuries have been healed, except for a slight tear in my clothes, which shows no signs of bleeding from before. So the next question is. Where is this? Based on previous experience, this is probably another strange place. From the current perspective, the meaning of exploration may refer to traveling to another place. So the question is, is this the place where I met Spider-Man before? Looking around, Linton realized that he seemed to be in a forest. The trees around him were growing strangely, crooked and tall. He was about to study his approximate location when he suddenly heard a sound coming from ahead. Now in this situation, Linton was eager to know his position, so he quickly walked towards the direction where the sound came from. After taking a few steps, Linton saw a figure sitting on the grass ahead, with his back facing him. Linton quickly confirmed that the other person was indeed a person, but dressed a bit strangely. Looking at the back, the other person should be a young man wearing a black outfit and something resembling grass shoes on his feet. Moreover, this person seems to have been injured. When Linton saw him, he was treating his leg wound with a bandage. Who? As Linton was observing, the other party also noticed Linton and immediately stood up, moving quickly. As he stood up, the other party took out something that looked a bit like a small dagger and placed it horizontally in front of him. Linton carefully looked at it, and it should be called Kowu, as if it was a weapon used by Nippon Ninja. Speaking of which, this person's attire also looks a bit like a ninja. Linton noticed something similar to a logo on the other person's left arm, which he was a bit familiar with, but now he can't see it from this angle, so it's difficult to confirm. Who are you? Speak up. Just as Linton was looking at the other person, they were also looking at Linton. Although Linton is not wearing ninja gear and looks a bit like a civilian, this place is a war zone. How could there be civilians coming here? Besides, even if it's really a commoner, it's unlikely to be their common people, which makes this ninja very nervous. Don't get excited, don't get excited. Seeing the other party take out his weapon, Linton suddenly became nervous. Of course, he wasn't worried about being chopped off, but about the other party. From the previous situation, it seems that I have an auxiliary system similar to automatic combat on my body. It seems that once it is judged as an enemy, it will automatically launch an attack. The black guys, police officers, and Spider-Man in the past were all inexplicably defeated by me. He still wants to ask for directions now. If this guy launches an attack on me, I'm really worried that I can't control myself. I'm here to ask for directions, may I ask where this is? Linton raised his hand indicating that he had no ill intentions and tried to calm the other person's nerves. There are several obvious wounds and many bloodstains on the other person's body, 
which are clearly from a recent battle or similar. In this situation, the other party may be exceptionally nervous. Ask for directions. The other party remained vigilant, but their body slightly changed its angle. And from this angle, Linton happened to see the emblem on the opponent's arm, which was a bit like a vortex-shaped emblem. And upon seeing this, a familiar feeling suddenly appeared in Linton's heart, and he couldn't help but shout, the symbol of Kiba. Are you Kiba's ninja? With a schwa sound, as Linton shouted, the other party threw out the bitter nothingness in their hand. When you hear Linton's shout, you know that the other person is not your own. If it were a person from Kiba, how could they shout like that? Of course, he still didn't know if Linton was an enemy ninja or just a civilian who had taken the wrong path, but during the war, he deserved to have taken the wrong path and entered the battlefield. Don't. Linton didn't have time to shout anymore, and as the opponent threw out the bitterness, the mechanical sound also appeared. Detect hostile targets, activate automatic combat mode. The next second, Linton's body leaned back and dodged the opponent's painless attack in a very unscientific posture. Then, he quickly twisted his body and charged towards the opposite ninja, of course, at a very fast speed. Is it really the enemy? Seeing Linton's skill, the ninja across from him immediately realized that this guy was definitely not a commoner, but fortunately he was on the alert. With a wave of his hand, he took out several swords and threw them vigorously towards Linton. Chapter 6 Ninjas You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Linton is a bit confused now. He has figured out his current position, is he actually a Naruto? But in my impression, it seems like an animated film. As for when he actually watched it, he doesn't quite remember, but he still knows a lot about the plot. Fortunately, he had already experienced a world before, and Linton remained calm and relatively fast. The current question is why I am not in the world of Spider-Man before, but in the world of Naruto. Is there still a difference between emergency-triggered exploration missions and previous conventional exploration missions? Linton is still thinking about this, and his body hasn't stopped either. Although the opponent's sword-throwing skills were very exquisite, even to the point of advance, Linton's speed was faster, evading the opponent's sword attack with one dodge on each side and bringing the distance closer again. The other side may also realize that Linton's physical skills are stronger than his, and he may be an individual ninja, so he quickly responded. Common sense told him not to fight head-dot-on with the physical ninja, and coincidentally, he also had a way to restrain the physical ninja. With a ding sound, Linton suddenly saw a flash of red light in the other person's eyes. Looking up, the other person's eyes suddenly turned red, and there were several tadpole-like things spinning inside their eyes. Linton recognized this thing in an instant and couldn't help but say, Sharingan. Are you from the Uchiha family? Upon closer inspection, this guy indeed has black hair and black eyes, which is truly a characteristic of the Uchiha family. However, the ninja on the other side did not answer Linton's question, but directly imprinted his hands and said, Illusion. Naruto's witchcraft. Linton happened to be looking into the other person's eyes. In an instant, he felt his vision change, and the ninja across from him suddenly changed. His entire body exploded, and a huge monster grew out of the other person's body. Of course, by this time Linton had already understood that he had been enchanted. The use of Sharingan as a medium for the release of illusions is extremely effective, and illusions are particularly effective against physical ninjas. Seeing Linton hit, the opponent's nerves relaxed for such a second in an instant. However, in this second, the outcome was decided. Indeed, Linton was enchanted, and everything he saw in front of him was a fantasy. However, Linton's body did not stop because of this. Just as the other party relaxed, Linton's body took another step forward, lowered, and his right hand directly touched the other party's waist, pulling out the other party's suffering, and then stabbed upwards. With a puff sound, Kowal plunged directly into the ninja's throat, and in an instant, blood gushed out like free money. However, Linton didn't stop yet. 
he immediately pressed the other person to the ground, then stabbed him directly in the chest with a knife, pulled it out, and stabbed him again until the other person stopped moving. The battle is over. When Linton heard the sound, it was also when he had just regained his vision. Due to the death of the performer, Linton automatically released the illusion, and everything he had just seen in chaos dissipated in an instant. The next second, he saw the ninja from the Uchiha family lying under him in front of him. It seemed hopeless, and his pupils were dilated. So. Why bother? Linton helped, the combat system was quite helpful. It was quite dangerous this time, but he still didn't ask anything. Finally, he saw a person turn into a corpse in an instant. What should he do? As before, after the battle ended, he regained control of his body. I stood up and looked at the situation. I wasn't injured this time, but my whole body was covered in blood, which was quite uncomfortable. Of course, this is not the time to handle difficulties and not feel uncomfortable. After thinking for a moment, he began to look through the bodies on the ground. Linton's original intention was to search for anything on the other person's body and see if there were any clues. But just as he touched the other person's body, he suddenly received a voice message. System prompt. Important analytical products detected can be uploaded to earn reward points. Important analytical product. What is that? Linton paused and immediately asked. However, no voice answered him. At this point, Linton had almost understood that the voice he was speaking was the same system tone as when he was crossing over, and it didn't seem to communicate with Linton. In the previous battle, there was a slight difference between the mechanical sound and this one. Although he could communicate, according to his own words, he only knew how to communicate about combat matters, and it seemed that he wouldn't answer anything else. Anyway, what I really want now is integration. Although I don't know what's going on with this system, he said that if I have negative integration, I will lose my qualification as an investigator and probably lose the system. Linton definitely can't accept this. After some thought, Linton still confirmed the upload. A white light flashed from the body of the ninja, and soon Linton's ear sounded a warning sound. Successfully uploaded the analysis item, rewards 30,000 points. I immediately looked at my points column and sure enough, my points became positive, which made Linton feel much more at ease. Now it seems that the way to obtain points is not only to settle and obtain after the exploration is completed, but also to directly obtain important analytical products here. But it's a bit different from what I imagined, the bodies on the ground haven't disappeared. Upon examining the body again, Linton immediately understood. The other person's eyes were gone and he immediately realized that this important analytical object was the Sharingan. According to the setting, this thing is indeed the pupil technique passed down by the six immortals, which is indeed very important. Realizing this, Linton suddenly checked his point store and found that there were many new things emerging. The most important thing was the Sharingan, which can also be purchased here. There were also some BCD-level ninjutsu and other items, but Linton didn't pay attention to them for the time being. Instead, he focused on this precious blood inheritance limit. Writing Will I Linton is naturally what I want. If my memory is correct, this thing is a super cheat. After looking at the points, first of all, the D.level writing Will I only requires 1000 points, which is too cheap, while the C.level requires 10,000 points and can also be bought. I didn't think much about it. In the current situation, it's better to quickly add cheats. The memory of being assassinated by an assassin earlier made Linton feel very insecure, and he also realized the importance of his own strength. Although it is not yet known who sent the assassin, I will not spare myself based on the other party's situation. After completing my own investigation, I should still go back as before, and I don't want to be chased so badly again. Purchase successful. With two beeps, Linton directly purchased the C.grade writing will I. Suddenly, he felt a slight itching in his eyes, causing him to involuntarily close it for a second. When he opened it again, he suddenly realized that his vision had changed slightly. 
This is an indescribable feeling, as the surrounding field of vision suddenly becomes clearer and brighter. It feels like you are seeing everything clearly, a bit like the feeling of myopia suddenly putting on glasses. Of course, originally Linton was not nearsighted, it's just a similar metaphor. This feeling made Linton very addicted, not only gaining strength, but also improving his understanding of the entire world. However, looking at the B. level Sharingan below, he needed 100,000 points, so he couldn't continue to upgrade. However, Linton thought for a moment and realized that the initial flaw in writing Will Eyes was not significant, but it became more and more abnormal later on. Once invested, he had to buy this thing to the end. Based on this situation, Linton has set a small goal for himself, which is to bring back at least 100,000 points this time, but is this easy? I earned over 20,000 points last time, maybe because I died too quickly. Previously, I should have gone back after falling from a building with Spider-Man, which means that if I die here, the investigation will end. From the perspective of calculating points in the future, one is to increase exploration, and the other is to defeat more people to earn battle points. From these two points, one should walk more to earn more points. UU reads www.uukangshu.net to ensure that one does not die as much as possible. Find a way to live, Linton said as he continued to rummage through the body. After a moment of busyness, he flipped through everything on the body, including the other person's clothes. The obtained items include two bitter nothings, ten swords in hand, a few small pills, probably military grain pills, and two detonating symbols. As for the clothes, Linton decided to put them on. The other person's figure is similar to ours, so it should be quite suitable. The main reason for wearing this is that their clothes are really not suitable. Others immediately think that this person has a problem, as demonstrated by the previous performance of this ninja. At present, if we want to ensure that we don't die, of course, we can't just die casually. However, the biggest trouble is the combat system that can fight on its own. Although this thing was not explained to him at all, after two or three attempts, Linton also figured out the enemy's tricks. This cannot make the enemy show any hostility towards him, otherwise it will be a never. Ending result For this reason, Linton decided to impersonate this Uchiha. Quickly change the clothes, throw your own clothes into the package, and keep the rest at your waist. Although these can also be put in a package, they are quite strange. After thinking for a moment, Linton spent some points to exchange for a pistol, which only has 800 points, and a bullet only costs one point, which is cheap and useful for emergencies. After organizing these, Linton simply hid the body with a thicket of trees and prepared to depart. The ninja of Kanoha couldn't have inexplicably run into this kind of forest alone, and was also attacked by the enemy. Linton felt that the other people of Kanoha should be nearby. After checking the direction of the blood, Linton decided to walk in the direction of the previous ninja's advance, and perhaps he could find Kanoha's other people. Chapter 7 Team You are listening at NovelFull.audio Linton didn't expect that it would take him half a day to leave, half a person didn't see it, let alone the base of Kiba. He had no idea if he was heading in the right direction, as he couldn't even distinguish between the southeast, northwest, and north. As the sky grew a bit dark, Linton decided to find a place to camp first. Finally, he met someone and was surrounded as soon as he came up. Three people appeared in front of Linton, one of them was an older man with a beard, and the other two were probably teenagers around ten years old. To Linton's delight, it was evident that all three of them had the mark of Kanoha on their bodies, and they were ninjas of Kanoha. Judging from this situation, this middle-aged bearded uncle should be the captain, and the two younger grades should be his team members. At the first moment of discovering the other party, Linton immediately opened the writing will I, on the one hand to understand the other party's configuration, and on the other hand to naturally indicate his identity. Of course, Linton also showed no bitterness and maintained a cautious attitude. This was also the person from the Uchiha family before his studies, and when faced with sudden appearances, 
he couldn't really treat them like people from Kanoha. Presumably seeing Linton's riding wheel, the three of them, who were originally somewhat cautious, relaxed and quickly walked out of the hiding place. Wearing clothes from the Uchiha family was nothing, but the Sharingan was still a very obvious symbol, so the three of them quickly recognized him as their own. Is it from the Uchiha family? What happened? The middle dot aged man didn't approach and asked Linton at a distance. Who are you? Linton continued to maintain a cautious demeanor and asked. The new assistants from Monkey Flying, with a special level of endurance, the other person replied. Is it the Monkey Flying Ninja? Linton pretended to have heard the other person's name, but in fact, he really had a slight impression of the name. Shouldn't Ape Fei be the family of the third generation Hokage? He is definitely a relative of Hokage, and indeed Linton was a bit familiar with him before. This guy looks very much like asthma, and his beard shape is exactly the same. Linton pretended to relax a bit, but the other person didn't doubt him very much. Yuji Bo Linton, he said, what happened? Monkey Flying Shinzo said as he leaned closer. His two students also walked out of hiding, clearly recognizing Linton as the Uchiha. Under attack, I am the only one left in my team, Linton said. Okay, that's it. Monkey Flying Shinji nodded without any suspicion, after all, his team was also attacked. There were originally three subordinates, but now there are only two left. How many troops are attacking you? Do you have any important intelligence? Now Linton really has a headache. How can he make it up? He doesn't even know who the enemy of Mai is. Along the way, Linton has already analyzed the current intelligence briefly. Firstly, the time he is currently in should be several years before the start of the plot, because by the time the main plot begins, the entire Uchiha family had already been wiped out, leaving only Sasuke, Itachi, and a few bosses. It is absolutely impossible for the unknown Uchiha minion he killed before to survive. Looking at this situation, it seems that Kiba is still fighting with other ninja villages. There have been many ninja battles, but Linton doesn't know which one it was, and no one knows who the opponent is. Kiba has fought several ninja villages at once. He is not clear about anything, and he dare not say that he knows nothing. If the other party becomes suspicious and continues to ask, he will have a lot of questions that will definitely be exposed. During this war, it was the most urgent time to investigate, and it was already good not to let him deal with codes and the like. Fortunately, just when Linton didn't know how to answer, the rescuers arrived and suddenly heard a few whooshes nearby. The monkey flying new assistant in front of Linton's face changed greatly and immediately shouted, Get out of here. Detect hostile targets and activate automatic combat mode. In an instant, Linton's body began to move automatically again, rolling towards the side and then hiding behind the nearby tree. And monkey flying Shinasuke and the other two Kanoha ninja also dodged the attack. A few swords and kowu appeared in the place where they were standing before, indicating that someone had ambushed them. Linton opened his riding wheel and scanned upwards, already seeing four enemies. Lin Dun doesn't know this group of people, but the good news is that Lin Dun knows the forehead protector on the other person's head. This group is ninjas from Naruto Village. The ninjas who attacked Linton were Weno from Naruto Village, named Ranji. Their team was the one who almost wiped out Uchiha's team before. However, during the battle, Yuzibo took advantage of the chaos and fled, while Rangji and his companions were dragged down by the remaining few and did not catch up. However, after the battle ended, Rangji had no intention of leaving any survivors and managed to catch up. That Uchiha has some basic ninja consciousness, and even used anti-reconnaissance tactics when running away, deceiving Rangji and causing him to take the wrong path. But Linton had no anti-pursuit consciousness at all, so after searching for a period of time, he found Linton's course of action and directly followed Linton over. He actually had some time with Linton, but he was also very strange. Before, he was also deceived by that Uchiha, who clearly understood the way to hide and escape, but for some reason now he suddenly stopped hiding and walked away with a swagger. 
Let Chi feel something is wrong, and indeed after a while, the person from Mu Yi appeared. Seeing that the other party was just a small team, Rangji decided to hit them again, so he launched an ambush. Unexpectedly, the leader of the other party was still a bit skilled and discovered it in time. However, Rangji had no intention of letting a few people go. He was about to attack when he suddenly saw Linton stunned. This person seemed not to be the Uchiha he was chasing. Previously, he only saw Linton's back but didn't notice it, but when Linton turned his head, he recognized it. He wasn't alone at all. What's the situation? Did the San Ninja squad catch up? Xin Jiju, the monkey fly, also hid behind the tree and observed the situation on the other side. One upper ninja and three middle ninja are elite teams, it's a bit troublesome. How are you? Rangji couldn't figure it out. Just as he was about to ask a question, he suddenly heard a loud bang. Rangji lost consciousness in an instant and fell directly from the branch, lying motionless on the ground. What? Everyone present was taken aback, and Linton also had a bewildered expression on his face. What was going on? The next second, Linton suddenly noticed that everyone's eyes were looking towards him. So Linton is also very obsessed. What are you looking at me for? What does this have to do with me? But as soon as he turned his head, Linton suddenly realized that he had already taken out his gun at some point, and the barrel was still smoking. Did I kill him? Linton looked really confused, but upon further reflection, he understood that when he dodged, he triggered an automatic battle. Although he was still analyzing the situation behind the tree, his body had already taken automatic action. It is estimated that considering the distance between the other party and him, the system directly pulled out a pistol and killed him. The battle is over. Wait for me, why can you just take the pistol from the package? Linton couldn't help but say. He exchanged the pistol just in case, as it was stored in the system's package. Unexpectedly, his body could directly take out the contents and open the gun. Linton doesn't want to expose this life dot saving thing so quickly. Besides, how to explain this thing? It's only used in critical moments, but it was exposed immediately. It completely disrupted his plan. However, the system definitely didn't answer Linton either. It's already like this. What else can we do? After looking at him next to him, who was also looking at his monkey flying new assistant, Linton spoke up and said, Do you know that Melawai? Isn't it? It's a family motto from the Uchiha family. Monkey flying Shinji shook his head in a daze. Hesitation leads to defeat. Dot. Ape flying Shinji felt a bit speechless. When the atmosphere was a bit awkward, fortunately, the remaining few people across the street finally reacted. When the three of them saw Captain Ninja inexplicably dead, they turned around and started running. Seeing the other party running away, Yu Yu read a book at www.yuukangshu.net and Monkey Flying Shinji no longer had time to inquire about the pistol. He immediately decided to say, Chase. In an instant, Monkey Flying Shinji and his two subordinates all chased after him using the instant body technique, but Linton felt a bit embarrassed on his side. Previously, except for this one, the other few people did not directly attack him remotely, which seems to have caused the system to determine that automatic combat will not be triggered, and he cannot automatically target them, which is also very troublesome to follow up with. Monkey Flying's new assistant and his subordinates went straight to the sky, chasing forward while stepping on branches. Linton doesn't have this inexplicable skill, but it's strange not to catch up. Why didn't you listen to Ninja's command? After thinking for a moment, Linton flipped through his store and immediately purchased something. Spider Silk Launcher, you can buy one with 1,500 points, and after using it, replenishing Spider Silk Liquid requires 800 points. This is much more expensive than a handgun, but it's still a bit useful at this time. Taking out one that was worn in his hand, Linton fired directly at the tree in front of him, 
relying on the precise positioning of the riding wheel eye to make a hit, then pulled the spider silk and flew up into the air. Due to his high attributes, Linton's physical reaction was actually quite good. After a few operations, he quickly learned the use of the spider silk launcher. After several aerial gliding, he had already caught up with the people ahead. At this point, Monkey Flying Shinji had already stopped because he was fast and had caught up with the San Ninja team, leaving behind two of them. Just as Yukihiro Shinzo was about to take down one of them, a figure suddenly flew out of the forest behind him, spinning 360 degrees in the air and landing directly between Yukihiro Shinzo and Saren. Um. I'm not used to landing, can you continue fighting? When I don't exist. Linton looked up and said awkwardly, looking at the two of them. Chapter 8 Acquaintances You are listening at NovelFull.audio It is obvious that Sha Ren could not have listened to Linton's words. He was already preparing to launch an attack on the monkey flying new assistant, but now Linton, who appeared in the middle, naturally became a new target. There was nothing to say, and the other party threw two painless shots at Linton's face. Don't. Linton quickly wanted to stop, otherwise his body would be at a loss again, but he was still one step late. Detect hostile targets and activate automatic combat mode. There was nothing to say, but Linton suddenly squatted down and dodged the opponent's attack. At the same time, Linton also had another gun in his hand. With a loud gunshot, blood splattered, but this time Linton only hit the opponent's right arm. At the critical moment, Sharen dodged slightly, avoiding Linton's intended head. In fact, having a clear view of the direction pointed at by the muzzle, there is still a chance to avoid the handgun. The previous upper ninja was killed and it is indeed unknown what this is, completely unprepared. However, I have seen it before, and even the middle ninja has a chance to avoid it. Too done. Too Lu Bai. Sharen, who was shot, immediately exerted his ninjutsu in pain and created a mud wall in front of him. Otherwise, he would still be waiting for Linton, this strange ninjutsu, to pursue him. However, after releasing ninjutsu, the opponent had no intention of continuing the battle. He was already being chased by the opponent's upper ninja, and with injuries, he could no longer continue the battle. Taking advantage of the earthen wall blocking his view, he turned his head and ran away. However, Linton had no intention of letting him go on his side. He lifted his right hand and used spider silk to stick to a nearby branch, pulled his body and took off directly. He aimed at Sharan on the ground in the air and fired again. With a loud bang, Sharan didn't have such good luck this time. As he turned around and ran away, he didn't notice Linton flying up. He shot through his chest and fell directly to the ground. Soon, Blood flowed out, and Sharan struggled a few times before moving. The battle is over. The familiar voice came again, and Linton regained control of his body. Looking at the monkey flying Shinasuk who has been watching the battle next to him, he has a headache. I didn't originally want to expose so much, but this pistol is already difficult to explain. This spider silk launcher is even more troublesome, and it's not good to look good at it from behind. Now it's quite troublesome. Before Linton could figure out how to explain, the battle next to him had also ended. The two team members of Yufei Shinji successfully won a San Ninja, but the other person should have already run away. These two people clearly stayed behind to procrastinate and help the other person escape, and their tactics were successful. This Sha Ren was seriously injured, but he hasn't died yet. Monkey Flying's new assistant hasn't asked Linton about these things yet, but has first interrogated this Sharan. The method used is illusion, and it seems that the Monkey Flying new assistant is very skilled in this area. He quickly obtained a lot of information. Linton next to him breathed a sigh of relief, as Saren not only told him a lot of information, but also helped him with the evidence. This Saren's statement is that they encountered Linton's team, and after fighting, they dealt with three people, leaving Linton alone. They came to pursue Linton, only to be counterattacked by the team of monkey flying Shinji. 
Of course, Saren didn't mention anything that seemed to have changed in Linton, but his testimony helped him reduce a lot of suspicion. During the war, when faced with people like Linton who he had never seen before, Ape Flying Shinasuk naturally had doubts. Although the other party had Sharingan, he was still cautious, especially after seeing Linton's strange behavior, this suspicion naturally deepened. However, having captured prisoners testify now has eased his suspicion quite a bit. At the same time, Linton also learned a lot of information from the prisoners. It was indeed during the war, and it seemed that the ninjas of Saren and Kiba were gathering nearby, preparing for a decisive battle. And now is the time for both sides to spy on each other's intelligence. Whoever has more information about the other will naturally have a more advantageous battle in the future. Captain, what should we do now? If we run away, do we want to chase after him? asked a team member under the new assistant of Monkey Flying. The intelligence he provided is very important, let's go back now, said Xin Jiju, as he had just obtained information about Sharon's camp from the prisoner's mouth. Although he didn't know if it was a trap, these things were not his consideration. Take the person back and let the commander. In dot chief make a decision. Yuji Bolington, you are the only one left in your team. Now you are temporarily assigned to our team and will join us in action. No problem, right? Yuji Shinji said to Linton. Yes, monkey flying. Linton can only say yes, what else can he do? He clearly felt that monkey flying's new assistance was still on guard against him. He said he couldn't do it at this moment, so he wanted to die. Besides, it was originally a mission to explore the world, so it would be better to follow him back to the camp, but could he keep his identity hidden? Regarding the issue of identity, Linton can only take one step at a time to see. Monkey Flying Shinasuk briefly introduced two of his teammates, the taller one named Jinjiro, who has no surname and should be a commoner ninja. Another one is called Jincheng Yongtai, who doesn't have much of a personality. He seems to be mainly someone with a familiar feeling. Linton could clearly feel that these two people had relatively little suspicion of him, after all, his appearance was first very similar to that of the Uchiha family, with black hair being a prominent feature, and then he wrote Will Eyes. With the testimony of this prisoner, the two probably believed in their own identity. Yufei Shinji asked the two of them to clean up the traces a bit, then bring the prisoners and prepare to leave, while he found Linton alone and quickly asked about the pistol. This is the ninja tool I developed. Linton had already thought of some answers by this time, and as he spoke, he also handed over his pistol. Yufei Shinasuk also directly took it over and quickly checked it. Regarding the mechanical aspect, I am not very familiar with the monkey flying new assistance, but I also have a general understanding of how it works. Is that thing that can emit silk threads also? asked Yufei Shinji. Yes, Linton also reached out his hand to let Monkey Fly Shinji take a look at the things in his hand. These are all things I developed myself because I am not very good at controlling chakras, and I am relatively weak in climbing trees and water, which is why I thought of developing such things. There are still strange people like you in the Uchiha family, said Xin Jiju, the monkey flying. Although he suspected it now, he still generally believed in Linton. It's a bit strange that there is such a strange person in Yuzibo's family that he hasn't heard of before. My family. Of course, they don't support me doing these things either. Linton smiled helplessly, but it made Monkey Fly Shinji hear the underlying lines. I guess it's not just a lack of support, it may be shameful, so I suppressed this news. Indeed, in this world where everyone yearns for ninjas, ninjutsu and the like are the right path. Making ninjas, even if precise, is still a minor path, especially in big families like Uchiha. I think your talent is good, said Yukiyoshi Shinji. I think these ninja tools are very useful. Didn't you just kill one upper ninja and one middle ninja? That was a surprise attack. If the other party is prepared, I have no choice, Linton said. What happened when they attacked your team before, asked Monkey Flying Shinji. Sorry, this is my first time on the battlefield. Linton said. 
Understood. Yufei Shinji nodded, roughly understanding what it meant. Although the forbearance sneak attack was very awesome, Linton was probably nervous and flustered when he went to the battlefield for the first time. He didn't use it for the first time, which is no doubt. He still remembered what it was like when he went to the battlefield for the first time. During the conversation, Shinjiro and Yuta Kaneshiro had already cleaned up the battlefield, cleared some traces, and then searched for the bodies. Shinisuk Kenshij also waved his hand and everyone began to retreat. Linton still uses spider silk launchers for movement, and he has become familiar with this method of movement, similar to Spider-Man. It is still very fast in places like the forest. At this moment, Yufei Shinji looked carefully and found that this thing was indeed very useful. Linton also said that he was not very good at climbing trees, so he used this kind of ninja tool. Following the help of monkey flying Shinji, they walked for a while. A campsite appeared in front of Linton, which was obviously a temporary campsite. Linton only saw some tents. Although there are no signs or flags, Linton also knows that this is the campsite of Kiba. Monkey Flying Master Several figures quickly appeared in front of them, stopping them. However, these people were obviously ninjas of Kanoha and should be responsible for guarding near the campsite. They also recognized Monkey Flying Shinji. Please report to Lord Orochimaru that we have captured a San Ninja and have obtained some important information from him that needs to be reported in person, said Yukiyoshi Shinji immediately. Yes. The ninja in front nodded and immediately left, while Linton and the others continued to move forward and quickly arrived at the camp. There are many ninjas in this camp, obviously all of them are Kanoha ninjas. Linton carefully checked left and right, but before he could fully understand, Yukiyoshi Shinisuke brought them and Saren's captives to one of the wooden rooms built on a wooden frame. Monkey Flying Shinji reported, lifted the curtain and entered, and Linton followed inside. There were a few people in the room who seemed to be in a meeting, and immediately, Linton noticed the person standing in the middle. This was the first character Linton had seen in the original work, but it was indeed a very troublesome one. His name was Orochimaru. Chapter 9 Final Battle You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Linton is still very familiar with Orochimaru, the big boss of the early stage of Hokage. As soon as he appeared, he was full of excitement and scared the main characters, but so far, this Orochimaru is still a bit young compared to what he remembers. From the current situation, Orochimaru should be the highest commander here so Linton probably already knows what period it is. Firstly, Orochimaru did not defect, which is definitely before the start of the original work, and it is estimated that several protagonists have not yet been born. Secondly, he is already the highest commander, indicating that Sanin has already established his identity. If Linton remembers correctly, Sanin became famous during the Second World War in the Ninja World, during the battle against Banzo Mountain Pepperfish, which suggests that the current time should be the time of the Third World War. Regarding the Third World War in the Ninja Realm, Linton didn't know much because the original work in his memory didn't introduce much either. The focus should be on the story of Kakashi. However, Linton remembered that they were dealing with the Earth Ninja, and their current enemy was the Sand Ninja. It seems that they are not on the same battlefield as that side, or that they have already fought that battle, after all, this war has lasted for many years. While Linton was thinking, the monkey flying Shinasuke here was also introducing the situation they had inquired about to Orochimaru and others. While Linton was looking at Orochimaru, he suddenly turned his head and asked, Achiha Linton. Hmm. Yes, Lord Orochimaru, Linton asked for a moment. This is the first time I've heard this name, Orochimaru observed Linton up and down. Did you use a special ninja tool to kill an upper ninja? Yes, Linton also had a headache. He didn't want to be so conspicuous, but there was nothing he could do about it. As he spoke, Linton also handed over his gun, and Orochimaru meant to hand over the things for him to see. Orochimaru took the pistol and observed it for a moment. Soon, he seemed to understand how to use it. 
with just a casual move, the pistol was dismantled by him. This is not something that layman can do. It can only be said that Orochimaru, as a scientist, has an amazing talent in this area. Is that so? Is there a device like a detonating symbol inside? Orochimaru picked up a bullet and asked. Yes, Lord Orochimaru, I was inspired by the detonating talisman to make this ninja, Linton nodded and said. This is really exquisite. Orochimaru admired Linton very much, but it made Linton very uncomfortable, feeling like he was being targeted by a venomous snake. Unfortunately, this kind of workmanship requires very high precision, and this thing cannot be mass-produced. Yes, Lord Orochimaru, I actually spent a lot of time making this one, Linton said. And I only managed to take down that sarin through surprise attacks. If he had known the function of this thing in advance, I don't think he could have killed him. Orochimaru nodded, that's exactly what he meant. He wanted to see if this thing could be used for war, but its craftsmanship requirements were too high, mass production was impossible, and even after being known by the enemy, its value in war was not very high. To be honest, Orochimaru didn't really like it, but he quickly set his gaze on Linton. Being able to produce something of this level indicates that Linton has a high talent in this area. Orochimaru really needs such talent. He is now obsessed with research work and has gone crazy to the point of conducting human experiments. Isn't Linton a talent that suits him too well? You're good, I'm very optimistic about you, Orochimaru smiled and said, if you're still alive after the war, come find me. This clearly means carrying, which may mean wanting Linton to be his disciple or something like that. However, as soon as Orochimaru finished speaking, Yukiyoshi Shinosuke said, Orochimaru, Linton has already activated the Sharingan. Hmm. Orochimaru looked at Linton, who also understood his meaning and immediately used the skill of writing will eyes, although he had not yet figured out the relationship between whether to open the eyes. That's it. Orochimaru's expression became even more excited. He wrote the wheel eye, which is even better. He has been researching this recently. He certainly understood why the monkey flying new assistant reminded him of this. Although the Uchiha family has blood heirs, not everyone can awaken. At Linton's age, he is already a key target of cultivation for the Uchiha family, and if Orochimaru wants someone, the Uchiha family may have to intervene. When did you open your eyes? Orochimaru asked. If it were someone who has already opened their eyes, he is unlikely to have heard of it, especially since Linton has opened the Sangoyu at his age, so he estimated that Linton's eye-opening time will not be too long. Just now, when we were attacked, Linton said. So, your family doesn't know yet? Orochimaru asked. Yes, I don't know, Linton nodded. So. Orochimaru was about to say something when another ninja with a longer face next to him said, let's wait until the war is over. Orochimaru, the most important thing at the moment should be the war. Hmm. Orochimaru nodded, as if temporarily putting aside his thoughts, walked to the edge of the map, and said, if the information provided by Saren is true, then Saren's camp should be here, the question is whether this is a trap, said the long-faced ninja next to him. At this point, Linton roughly guessed the identity of this long-faced ninja. The first thing to remind him is the particularly chubby ninja next to him. Linton has now inferred his identity, which should be from the Autumn Taoist family. Judging by age, he should be the father of Autumn Daoding, the Autumn Daoding constellation. Since the butterfly of the pig deer butterfly is here, the identities of the two people next to it can also be inferred. The person with a long face who has been giving advice is probably Nara Deer for a long time, while the person next to him who has been silent should be Hai Yamanaka. Chiodao Dingzhua and Nara Lu Jolingden are not so worried. The problem is that the secret techniques of the mountain family seem to be related to mind reading skills. If they are suspected, they may be exposed at any time. However, it may have revealed the relationship between the Sharingan, and I have not yet felt any suspicion from Shanzhong Hai towards me. However, I need to be careful when speaking. 
you can send someone over there to take a look, for safety's sake. Just as Linton was observing high in the mountains, the other party spoke up. He must have gone back and reported the news now. If the enemy's camp is really there, they may immediately change their position. If we don't move directly now, it won't be too late, said Nara Kashihisa. At present, it is impossible to determine whether this is the enemy's strategy or the true information, so there are two options to choose from. After a brief discussion, they all turned their attention to the middle Orochimaru, after all, he was the highest commander. This choice was still left to him to make. Orochimaru's eyes also narrowed for a while, it was obvious that he couldn't make a good decision either. After thinking for a moment, he looked at Yufei Shinosuke and said, Yufei, you have fought them head dot on. Do you think this intelligence is true or false? In my opinion, the possibility is really quite high, Yufei Shinji thought for a moment and replied. Hmm. Orochimaru nodded and then looked at Linton's side. What do you think? Your team was the first to contact this Saren team. Did you find anything? What does Linton know? He doesn't know anything, okay. Of course, he can't answer that he doesn't know anything, but he can't even say the details when you ask him. Just as Linton was having a headache, the tent curtain next to him suddenly opened and a figure walked in. Linton recognized him at a glance. This guy is really easy to recognize. He's in his twenties, with yellow and spiky hair, and a sunny appearance. Yes, this guy should be the fourth generation Hokage, a Feng Shui gate. Watergate. Why did you come? Lin Dun was surprised to find that the first person to go up was Xin Jiju from Ape Flying. He was momentarily taken aback and then figured it out. The relationship between both Feng Shui men and the monkey flying family should be good. Zilai is also a disciple of three generations, and both Feng Shui men are also disciples of Zilai, so three generations can actually be considered as the ancestor of both Feng Shui men. Although he doesn't know his identity, Monkey Flying's new assistants should have a good relationship with both Feng Shui men. New assistants, big brother. Sure enough, you can tell from the title that the relationship between the two is very good. UU reading book www.uukangshu.net Shuemen also quickly replied, Lord Hokage's order is for me to come here to support. From his words, Linton could also notice that Watergate had not yet become Hokage. Upon closer examination, it seemed that he had also become Hokage after this battle. If I remember correctly, the three battles in the ninja realm should have been the ultimate victory for Kiba. With the support of the golden shining wood leaves, it's very reassuring, said Orochimaru, licking his lips. Lord Orochimaru. Shuemen respectfully saluted Orochimaru, as Orochimaru and his master are of the same generation. Since Lord Bufeng has arrived, I think we can give it a try to attack. At this point, Nara Kashihisa supported a direct attack, after all, we had the support. The current record of Bufeng Shui Men is already very impressive. Although he is the only one with support, it is worth a thousand troops and horses, which also gives them confidence in attacking. What's the situation? Bo Feng Shui asked. Nara Kazuki immediately talked to Bufeng Shui Men about the current situation, and of course, also mentioned Linton. Bufeng Shui Men also looked at Linton here strangely, because he had never heard of the name Yuji Bo Linton, which made him feel a bit strange. A person with such obvious characteristics should not be so unknown, right? I also agree with a direct attack. However, Bo Feng Shui still expressed his opinion and supported the attack. I think the terrain near Mount Kikyu is not suitable for setting up ambushes, but rather for setting up camps. It shouldn't be the enemy's trick. I agree with that, said Nara Kashihisa. Since that's the case, then let's attack, Orochimaru nodded and said. Kikyu Mountain. Linton had a slight impression of this place name. Chapter 10. Ambush. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The place name Linton of Kikyu Mountain is indeed very familiar, 
but familiarity means familiarity. He is completely unaware of the specific situation. I remember mentioning a battle called the Battle of Kikyu Mountain in the original work, which is said to be a major battle of the three wars in the ninja realm. However, the specific content of the battle is probably not mentioned at all, at least according to Linton's memory. Linton can only trust his own memory about this, although he can't remember how he actually remembered it. According to memory, this war should have been a victory for Kiba's side, and I don't know if the current situation will have any impact on the situation. After all, I participated in the plot, but based on the current situation, my role should be limited. Even if he is not there, Monkey Flying Shinisuk should be able to bring back this information, and the arrival of the Wave Feng Shui Gate will also make Kiba determined to launch a surprise attack. In short, give an order, and Kiba's troops will immediately begin to take action. As previously mentioned, Saren's troops, knowing that their base had been discovered, were likely to want to evacuate immediately and had to take immediate action. If Kiba wants to attack, he must hurry up, so the commander. In. Chief, Orochimaru, gave a command and everyone immediately launched a surprise attack, targeting Kikyo Mountain. Even if it's a surprise attack, there are still some tactics involved. The plan of Orochimaru is as follows. A large army will attack from the east side and engage with the enemy's large army, while another army will attack from the south side, mainly for harassment and surprise attacks. This surprise attack unit is led by Bo Feng Shui Gate. There are not many people, only eleven in total, but they are all elites, including the shadow level of Wave Wind Water Gate, as well as three upper ninjas and seven middle ninjas. The first task given to them by Orochimaru was to destroy and create chaos, and the second task was to attack and assassinate important figures. Unfortunately, Linton is part of this surprise unit. For this result, Linton didn't know whether he was happy or unhappy. Fortunately, there were fewer people in the team, so naturally fewer people could recognize him. None of these ten or so people came up and directly said that you were a spy or something, which is indeed a good thing. The unhappiness is that the danger level of this unit is significantly higher than that of fishing in a large unit. Linton looked at the nearby wave wind water gate. At this point, the ability and reputation of the water gate had already spread, and everyone knew the fame of the golden flash of the wood leaf. Naturally, he would attract many difficult opponents. Of course, the current state of Watergate is at its peak, and it is estimated that no one is afraid at the moment. Even if the fourth generation Feng Ying personally comes, he will not hesitate, but the problem is that Linton and his team do not have this level. Linton can only take one step at a time to see about this. If possible, he still wants to go back to the village of Kiba. Since it is an exploration, all he can think of is knowing about Kiba village, which is likely to increase the number of exploration points. The second option is to die in battle, after all, if you die, according to the previous situation, you just go back directly. Although the exploration score may be a bit low, it is not a big deal. The most tragic option is to be captured. If captured by Shanin village, it would be really tragic. If I want to die, I won't let it go. I still have Sharingan, and I don't know what experiments the people in Shanin village will do with me. They probably want to study this precious bloodline and won't simply let myself go. Stop. Suddenly, a ninja in the team shouted, and everyone immediately stopped and hid on the spot. What's the situation? A ninja who Linton didn't know asked the previous speaker. Linton also looked at the ninja, who was quite recognizable. His white pupils clearly indicated that he was from the Hinata family. Before setting off, everyone briefly greeted him. This person from the Hinata family should be called Hinata Nakari, also known as Nakano. There is a large army ahead, which is Sha Ren, Hinata reported to Zhongli. There are over a hundred people moving towards the west, and they are retreating troops. Linton opened his writing will I directly and looked ahead, but he didn't see anything. It must be said that in terms of reconnaissance, white eye is indeed an open hanging type. Linton's writing will I is already at the level of a military telescope, 
while white eye is a wall hanging type. By the way, Linton used the right will eye to consume his MP value, which is the blue bar. It should have been adjusted by the system. Anyway, he didn't use chakras, so it seems that his skills will automatically use the blue bar. It goes without saying that everyone's attention immediately focused on Bo Feng Shui gate, and now is the time to make a decision. There are only about 10 out of over a hundred opponents, and generally speaking, they cannot be defeated. However, if they are only retreating troops, it is highly likely that they are just logistics teams, which is their target. Of course, it could also be a trap, which depends on the judgment of the Feng Shui gate. Go ahead of them, prepare for ambush. Bo Feng Shui thought for a moment and decided to ambush this unit. The team did not raise any objections, and about ten people immediately rushed to the front of their route, preparing for a simple ambush, which was to prepare some traps, mainly detonating symbols. After a while, Hinata Nakari, who was responsible for reconnaissance, gave a gesture, and everyone immediately ambushed nearby. Linton also crouched on the nearby tree, staring at the situation below while preparing to give himself a little more skill. He still has over 10,000 points left, so let's not keep the current situation and use them for now. After looking at the mall, Linton thought about it and decided to purchase a C. Level chakra, which actually adds a blue limit directly. Previously, Linton bought a D. Level 1 and added an MP limit of 1,000 points, which has doubled his MP by four times. Now that he has purchased a C. Level chakra, his blue limit has increased by 10,000 points. Currently, the 11,300 point MP is much better than the pitiful 300 point MP before. Of course, in order to match the mana, Linton also purchased some skills, mainly ninjutsu. At present, the ninjutsu he can purchase is on the one hand the fire escape ninjutsu, which is probably obtained by killing the previous Uchiha. Uchiha's family is good at fire escape. Next are the skills of wind done and some earth done which are probably provided by the upper ninja of Sharan. Although I haven't tried it, according to his current 10,000 MP, he can accommodate quite a few. Just finished adding skills when the enemy appeared. A unit of sand ninja quickly appeared in front of them, with a considerable number of people, including a few pushing carts, which indeed looked like a retreating logistics unit. The people on Mu Ye's side quickly held their breath and focused, waiting for the other party to enter the trap. However, something unexpected happened quickly. Just a second before the opponent was about to enter the trap, the person led by Sha Ren suddenly raised their hand to signal the troops to stop. Looking at the situation ahead, Sha Ren suddenly said, there is an ambush. Hands on. Unfortunately, the other party didn't step on the trap, but there was nothing they could do. Wolfing Shui men let out a loud roar, and the ninja on Kiba's side immediately jumped out. Linton naturally followed suit and released his ninjutsu. Fire escape. Big flame bullet. Foam done. Great breakthrough. Lay done. Conducted waves. All the ambushed Kanoha ninjas released their skilled ninjutsu, and in an instant, various ninjutsus bloomed in the Saren army causing many Saren to fall directly. It can be seen that this unit of Sha Ren is clearly not an elite unit, and it seems that Bo Feng Shui Men's judgment is correct. This is indeed a retreating logistics unit. Linton felt that his big flame bullet should have burned two or three people to death. This was his first time taking the initiative to kill someone, and it was the automatic combat system that helped him kill them before. To be honest, Linton doesn't have any emotional fluctuations. Counter-attack. Sha Ren, the leader, immediately shouted, wanting to release some ninjutsu to counterattack. However, before he could finish sealing, a figure suddenly appeared behind him, which was the wave wind water gate. Linton did indeed pay attention to the situation over there and witnessed the abilities of the wave wind water gate with his own eyes. The Flying Thunder God was indeed a bug ninja, and it really moved behind the opponent in an instant. This Sha Ren was at least an upper ninja, but he did not notice the actions of the Wave Wind Water Gate. By the time he saw him, the opponent was already behind him. 
It's you, the golden color of the wood leaves. Without finishing his words, he fired a spiral pill and the sand ninja flew out directly, falling to the ground and not getting up. Bo Feng Shui men naturally confiscates their hands, throws a few swords in their hands, and then follows a series of flashes, each time they appear, they can knock down several ninjas. UU reading www.uukangshu.net, and they are all experts. Seeing this situation, Sharon also panicked. He didn't expect that the famous golden flash was ambushing them. It was not worth fighting, and everyone was afraid. Withdraw it. I don't know who shouted, but Sha Ren's troops immediately withdrew in the direction they were coming. Of course, they all gave up their supplies, and a few people voluntarily stayed behind. No matter whether these people can run or not, anyway, Kiba's goal has been achieved. However, at this point, there was a problem with Linton's side. Just as Saren's army was preparing to retreat, I didn't know which Saren threw a few hand swords at Linton in the crowd. Linton didn't even notice that and heard a prompt sound. Detect hostile targets and activate automatic combat mode. Hmm. Linton was taken aback for a moment, but before turning back, his body made a direct movement and he looked up to dodge a few swords in his hand. This is Linton. He didn't see who attacked him at all, only saw Saren's retreating troops. He probably realized that the attack was not successful and ran away in the crowd. To Linton's surprise, his body suddenly moved and charged towards the retreating crowd. Hey, what are you doing? Linton suddenly realized something was wrong and asked quickly, but no one answered Linton. Uchiha Rington, where are you going? Come back. Suddenly, a shout came from the other side. Yes, Monkey Flying Shinji noticed that Rington had suddenly left the battlefield and shouted quickly. Didn't Rington join his team before, so he naturally had to manage it. No, I. Linton had a headache, and he also wanted to come back. The problem was that his body was not working properly. MD is the dart thrown by that bastard Saren, come out.